Hey there, I'm Christopher Sabat, voiceover guy and longtime FreshBooks user. FreshBooks has asked me to show you how to create and send your first invoice. By the way, FreshBooks has some pretty awesome tools for tracking your time and monthly expenses here and here. Definitely check those areas out after we're done, but for now we're just going to click on Create an Invoice. Let's say I just finished recording a huge series of ground-pounding monster truck commercials. I, I live in Texas, so yeah, this happens. And now I need to invoice for my work. The first thing FreshBooks needs to start the invoice is a client. Since there's only one sample client in this list, I'm going to make a real one by clicking on New Client. Let's call them Mud Pit Productions, Inc. Here I'm going to enter in all of my client's info. Feel free to be as detailed as you like, but all FreshBooks needs to move forward is an organization name and an email address. Now click Save Client. OK, now that I have a client, I'll show you how to set up a basic invoice. On the right, you'll see that I can set up my own invoice number, date, PO number, and discount. And once I've set up online payments for my invoice, it's easy for my clients to pay with PayPal or a credit card. For now, I'll leave it all as is. My next step is to add an item to my invoice. This can be a simple name, product code, or, in my case, a category, voiceover. Under Description, I'll put 30-second monster truck ad series. And then I'll add a quantity here. From here, go ahead and click Save Item. This will place the item in your invoice. If you ever need to change an item, you can always come back and do that. Let's add a few more items. If I need to add tax to any one of my line items, I can do that by clicking the little gear and entering in a name and percentage there. This tax item will be saved for the next time I need it. Almost done. These boxes down here for terms and notes are optional. I usually put, thank you for your business, please pay your invoice within 30 days. You know, FreshBooks did some research on this, and it's scientifically proven that you get paid 5% faster if you're polite in your invoices. All right, this invoice looks ready to roll. I've got three options down here. The Save as Draft button does just that. It saves it as a draft copy that you can preview and edit, and then send along whenever you're ready. But I'm going to click Send by Email. This shows me a quick preview of the email my client will see. You can add a custom message here if you want. Looks good to send, and away it goes. What happens next is my client receives an email that looks a little something like this. And here's a little something I love. Ever had a client say, I uh, never got your invoice? Well, FreshBooks actually tracks the precise moment an invoice has been viewed, along with the entire history of an invoice beneath it. Anyway, the client clicks this link to view the invoice, uses a credit card or PayPal to send payment, my records are updated automatically, and I receive the funds right about now. So. Those are the basics of sending an invoice with FreshBooks. Pretty easy, right? Now that you know the basics, take a minute and try sending yourself a test invoice now. It's the best way to get started. Until next time, on behalf of FreshBooks, I'm Christopher Sabat. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Emma from Strawberry Jam Marketing, and I'm going to show you how to use the time tracking tab in FreshBooks. This is going to sound weird, but I'm a huge dork when it comes to time tracking. I get really excited when I see a bunch of billable hours lined up together nicely in a column. It's like a little productivity parade. Anyway, when you manage a growing marketing agency like I do, that little parade of billable hours means there's money coming in. We depend on those hours being accurate and totally inclusive, or it's kind of useless, right? I mean, why do we do this? So, when I discovered FreshBooks time tracking system, it was like, yeah, exactly like a choir of angels. You guys are good. Let's say we just kicked off a site redesign project for one of our largest clients, Fancy Time Gourmet Muffins Corporation. The first thing I need to do is create a project to track time against. I'll go to the time tracking tab, click projects, and new project. Enter in a project name, website redesign and choose a client. Hello, fancy time. Under billing method, you'll see we have a number of options. For this project, hourly task rate is going to be just perfect. Now, we need a few tasks to track time against. I'll add those real quick, like a hacker in a Hollywood action movie. Lastly, FreshBooks needs to know who will be working on this project, so I'll add my lovely and talented team members like this. Alrighty. Now we've got everything we need to track time for this project. Are you excited yet? OK, we'll go back to the Time Tracking tab. This is the FreshBooks timesheet, which can display time by month, week, or day. So yesterday, I had a kickoff meeting with Fancy Time. And today, our designer, Jeremy, has been hard at work on the first round of site mockups. 
I'm going to show you how both of us will be recording our time in FreshBooks so that when billing time comes around, we've got all our ducks in a row. First, here's how I enter my time for the meeting. I'm going to choose yesterday as the date, choose the project and task, and the number of hours go here. Add a few more notes, log hours. Ah, back to Jeremy. He's been using the timer, which tracks his hours in real time. So when he stops the timer, his hours are logged automatically right here with mine. Now for the fun part, getting paid. This is really cool. FreshBooks can automatically generate an invoice from your team's timesheets. Just click Generate Invoice. Choose the client and project. Date range can be really handy if you bill by the week or month, but if you leave it blank, it will just bill for all hours. Next, click Create Invoice. And there it is. Remember, you can always make changes to the invoice before you send it. I usually like to give it a once-over, maybe add some notes. And watch out, Fancy Time Gourmet Muffins Corporation, because here it comes, invoice away. While I love knowing that all of our billable time is accurately accounted for, I've also just saved myself hours not having to chase down my team's time records. Less paperwork makes me happy. Look at this, not a scrap of paper anywhere. Hope you've enjoyed learning about time tracking. See ya.